Hello, my name is Rich Choi. I'm a CRM sales engineer here at Microsoft. And today we're going to take a look at installing the CRM 2011 Outlook client. Before we get started, be sure that you have administrator rights on your machine. If you currently have the CRM 4.0 Outlook client and have upgraded to CRM 2011, be sure to uninstall the CRM 4 Outlook client. The Outlook client is compatible with Outlook 2003 with Service Pack 3, Outlook 2007, and Outlook 2010. Also determine which version of Outlook you're currently using, if you're using Outlook 2010, and verify if it's 32 or 64 bit. In today's video, we're going to start out by locating the CRM Get CRM for Outlook button on the web interface. We're also going to take a look at downloading the actual client from the Microsoft site and doing a desktop installation. We'll then take a look at step-by-step -step process on configuring the client. And we'll also do a, a quick deep dive into the Outlook client options as we go through. When you log into CRM, and if you don't have the Outlook client installed, CRM will verify that the Outlook client isn't installed and provide a button at the very top below the ribbon so that you can click and it will do an automatic installation for you. As you can see here in this display, the button is labeled Get CRM for Outlook. In today's video, we're going to download this Outlook client from the Microsoft site and take you through the step-by-step -step process of installation. I have verified that my machine is using Outlook 2010 32-bit. 32-bit is going to use the client located here as Client ENU I386. If you're using a 64-bit, you're going to use the one above under Client ENU AMD64.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and download the I386. And you can save this locally or run it. I'll go ahead and save it locally here. You can see here that in my downloads folder, the client is downloaded successfully here. I'm just going to simply double click. And it's going to ask me where I want to extract these files. Now I could set up a folder or I could just place it um, in this default folder here. I'll just go ahead and leave it there and click OK. And it's going to begin extracting the files. Once it's completed extracting the files, it'll automatically display the setup process dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this other windows so that I can highlight this area. Now with the license agreement, I'm going to just accept and click next. And now you have the option to install either the Outlook client with offline capabilities or install without the offline capabilities. And those are the only options that you have here. So if I click options, it gives me this option to check for offline capability or I can just install as if I was to press the install button prior to the screen. But I'll just click install now. And it'll go through the installation process automatically. Now that the installation is completely installed, I'll go ahead and click Close. And next I want to go to my Start menu. And I'll open all programs here. And I'll see that there's a folder called Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. I'll go ahead and click on that. And I'll click the Configuration Wizard. And next you'll come to the Configure Organization dialog box. So if you're using CRM Online, you want to click this menu here and select CRM Online. The next step is to click Test Connection. And it's going to prompt you to enter your Windows Live ID and your password. 
Then I'm going to click OK. And now that you've entered your credentials successfully, the lower menu will list all the organizations that your user ID is associated with. If you're only associated to one instance of CRM, only one will be uh, displayed here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on CRM Online, my organization here. So once I click OK, it's going to open that up there. Now it's adding the organization now. Is the synchronization with the organization piece is important when you're going to add more than one organization to your Outlook client. CRM 2011's Outlook client allows you to have a, more than one organization in the Outlook interface. So then you have to determine which organization that you want to set as your primary to synchronize your data with. Because I'm only synchronizing with one organization, it's already set to default to synchronize with this organization. At this current time, if I was associated with, a, with another organization, I have the option to add another organization here, which would then allow me to select a different organization to select to synchronize with. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is, and I'll hit close. Next, we're going to verify that the Outlook client was successfully installed. I'm going to open up Outlook. And as you can see here, we've successfully installed the Outlook client. On the lower left side, the organization for my CRM created a module within the Outlook area in the lower left. Now at the very top, we also have an area for CRM. And if I wanted to go to CRM directly here, I can expand this view and I can access CRM directly here. So this is verifying that we've successfully installed the Outlook client. So I wanted to thank you today for taking the time out to view this demonstration here. But I want to leave you with some resources. Here's a link to the Outlook installation document. There's also a link to our video training community forums and customer support. We also have our team blogs and also developer resources. If you have any questions or feedback on content for the videos on Demo CRM Online, feel free to reach out to us at hqdynts at microsoft.com.